I'm going to be using a peach whiz mac glass for the bottom and the sides. It's an opaque glass, but the top, of course, is going to be clear, so you'll be able to see inside it. Now, an octagon is a little bit different. The degrees are different. So let's get my iron turned on here. Get everything cranked up. Tack these in place before I solder them to make sure that they don't get away from me and move. So I'm just going to tack all six of these outer pieces. Okay, once that's all tacked, I'll put a tack in the middle, and then I can run my bead. Now with decorative foil, it's a little bit different because it has that wave to it. So just take your time, and you don't want it to be too glumpy or anything like that. You want it to look nice and smooth. And what I may do, where I have all these like ridges in here, is I may do some decorative soldering on them. And I'm all, what I'm all going to do is tack the top and tack the bottom on these at the moment. Just like that. And then I can move him out of there, turn him this way, and add the next piece in. like I've been all the way around the mulberry bush here. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to tin all my top and bottom. So just take your time. Get a nice smooth bead going there. Now when you get you when you get to the corners you're gonna to have to come back and redo the corners. You know where the seems neat but right now we just want to do the flats okay just smooth that out okay next thing I'll need is I'll need a piece of chain so that I can attach it to my lid make sure everybody gets covered ready to go and there's our jewelry box and until we see you next time be safe be well be happy